Hello friends, so in this particular video we, we are going to study the comparison operators and the assignment operators. So many times we get confused between the comparison operators and the assignment operators. So how to differentiate between the two? The comparison operators are always double equal marks, equal to marks and assignment operator is equal to, one equal to, okay. So this is double equal to and this is one equal to. So this is your comparison operator and this is your assignment operator. Now try to understand what are the different uh, operators we have here. Like equal to is the equal to symbol. Not equal to is given by an exclamation mark and equal to. So this is not equal to. Greater than symbol is this. Less than symbol we have this symbol. Greater than or equal to we have club together greater than and equal to together. Less than or equal to we have less than and equal to together. Now let's try to understand how can we use all these operators. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's add a code block and then take a variable x and assign a variable value true to it. And now let's try to print the value of x. So this is assignment operator. Here we are trying to assign a value to to the variable x. And in Python, what happens is in Python it automatically understands that if a numerical num number is assigned to an to a variable the data type of this variable is numeric if a float is assigned to a to a variable then the by default the the uh, data type of that variable will be float and otherwise if a string is assigned then by default automatically the data type of the variable will change to to a string okay so here the data type of this x variable is numeric because integer rather int integer so if you want to look at the so let's print the value of x and then also print the type of the variable x and let's see what it prints so it's a class int so this is your assigning operator so here what are we trying to do is we are trying to assign the value to to variable x assigning value to to variable Let's do one thing more. Let's try to assign uh, the moment we put this number 2 into quotes, it becomes a string. Now let's uh, let's see what does it print and what is the type of this variable. So it is a string. So the class is a string. This x variable is a string type variable okay? because this is different than this. This is a number integer and this is a string because it is inside double quotation mark now try to compare the two values using the comparison operator okay so in a new code block let's take x variable assign value 2 to it let's take y variable assign 3 to it now compare x with y and let's see what does it print so this this should actually give me some result because what we have, what we are doing is we have assigned integer 2 to variable x, integer 3 to variable y and now we are com using the comparison operator, this double equal to, we are using the comparison operator, we are comparing whether x and y are equal or not, whether x and y variables are equal or not. So ultimately if it is equal it will give me yes or true, if it is not equal it will give me no or false. So let's see what it does, what it gives back to me. So it gives me false. Why? Because the number 2 and 3 is compared and number 2 is not equal to 3 and that is why it is giving me false. Let's try it out with equal value integers. So let's assign it to 5 and this will be 5. Now it will give me all true. So here what we are trying to do is we are comparing values in the variables x and y. Okay. And okay. Now let's do one thing more. Uh, we can also assign assign we can also use assignment operator 
in one line to multiple variables like here x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to k is equal to 2. So in one line I have assigned value 2 and it is integer 2 to all these four different variables. Okay. Now try to print everything at one go in one statement. Print x comma y comma z comma k. So it gives me all the values too. So this is another way to use this assignment operator. Okay. Now let's do one thing more. We can also assign. So this is one same value is assigned to all three or four different variables. If we want to assign in one sentence, in one line, different variables assigned different values, then how to do that? So A comma B comma C is equal to 1 comma 12.0 comma and let's say start. So what here we are what here we are doing is we have declared variable C B C and we have also assigned three values. So one by default will go to the first variable A 12.0 which is a float so this is an integer this is a float and this is a string so this integer will be assigned to this particular variable a this 12.0 which is a float will assign to, to the variable b and this is string is assigned to the variable c okay. let's check this out print and uh, a comma b comma c let's print the value okay so 1 12.0 and then the string. Okay, let's do another another. Uh, let's use these these operators as well. These operators as well. Comparison operators. Now uh, let's take two variables. X is equal to three, and Y. Let's give it a value five. And now use the print state. Print x is less than y. Is in a blank space and a, and a quote, and then give uh, a blank space also here, and then x greater than y. Let's see. So what it will give me, it will print this and it will print true or false basis whether x is really greater than y or not. Here it is not, so it should give me false. Okay. So let's see. So it gives me false. Now what we will do is we will copy this. And let's do this too. x is less than y let's check if what it will give if it is x less than y okay. then we can also use x whether x is not equal to y or not and it will check if x is equal to or not equal to y okay. then we can also check if x is really equal to or y or not and basis that it will give me a boolean true or false and we can also check x is greater than or equal to y or not and then the other. let's see what it gives me back so basis the comparison between the values 3 and 5 and 3 is greater than 5 no so it is giving me false 3 is less than 5 yes so it is giving me true 3 not equal to y, 3 not equal to 5, so yes, it is true. 3 is not equal to 5, so it is giving me true. 3 equal to 5, no, it is not, so it is giving me false. Is 3 greater than or equal to 5? No, so it is giving me all false. I hope you may have got the idea of that these type of operators, greater than, equal to, not equal to, equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, it gives me always a boolean. 
boolean is true or false so that was all on comparison operators and assignment operators thank you